will help him in November. Democrats in Indiana were very nervous about which way he was going to go. Joining me now is Ohio Congressman John Bocherry, who announced today that he will vote for the health care reform bill. Congressman, you voted against it, and now you're going to vote for it. What turned you around? Well, uh, thank you, Ed, for having me on your show tonight. I was very encouraged by the deficit reduction numbers. I'm a fiscal conservative, and, and uh, I'm very pleased that we see a $1.2 trillion uh, reduction in the budget and the deficit uh, in the second 20 years and $138 billion in the first 10 years. Uh, that is extremely significant and the first and largest reduction since uh, 1994, I believe. You get a sense that there's going to be other Democrats that will change their vote. There were 39 of them before. It looks like today has been a pretty good day at the office for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Do you get a sense that there'll be more like you? I, I do, Ed. I think that uh, I, I think a lot of members, even the ones who uh, couldn't get there on the first vote, uh, would like to see reform. And uh, this vote may be close, but uh, I think we're going to put it over the top here. Do you think your district wants you to vote yes on this? You know, Ed, I, I come from one of those quintessentially uh, swing districts and moderate districts in a swing state and a moderate state. And uh, I've heard passion on both sides of this argument. And I, uh, I believe that once, uh, once we get this package done and get out there and describe to the American people what we have actually done for them, ending the most abusive practices of the insurance industry because you c commit the sin of being sick or you have a pre-existing condition, uh, you may have saw from our earlier announcement, I had a uh, 10-year-old boy, uh, Jay Hawkins, standing with me. He was a, he was a, he suffers from autism, and uh, day one after this bill's passed, he will be able to get health care insurance. So you've heard enough personal stories that that helped turn you as well. What about you made a statement today about Iraq? How does that play into your decision? Well, Ed, when I was flying missions over there as a C-130 pilot, I remember reading a clip in the Stars and Stripes that our Secretary in Health and Human Services, Tommy Thompson, had flown to Iraq with one of many billion-dollar checks in hand to make sure that every man, woman, and child in Iraq had access to health care. Now, can you believe that American taxpayers are paying for Iraqis to see their doctor whenever they want, but we still have people in my congressional district, 39,000 to be exact, who can't see the doctor when they want? I think we need to turn the corner and invest in our nation. Congressman Bo Cherry, brave vote. I commend you for doing it. I think you're doing the right thing. And thanks for keeping an open mind and doing what's good for Americans. I commend Thank you. you. Ed. Great Thank to have you, you with us. And we'll have you Thank back you. for sure. Thanks so much. Thank Congressman Bo Cherry from Ohio tonight. There's, there's one other thing that I really want to point out that goes into effect right away when this bill passes.